Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com. Uh, in this quick tutorial, what I want to show you is actually how to put in a photo and kind of a mock-up situation where you want to take a photo and put it inside of a frame. It may sound a little simple, but there's actually one key step that a lot of people miss when they do this, and it really makes or breaks this whole effect. So I'm going to show you that, that step, but I'm going to walk you through the whole process right here. So we have this photo with the framed here and it's just a blank frame. Obviously it doesn't have to be blank. If you have a photo that already has a framed picture, you can actually do the same effect of replacing the picture. Uh, but just so happens that this one is blank. And we have this image here that we wanna put in there. So the first thing we obviously need to do is scale this. I'm gonna do Command or Control T on my keyboard and I'm gonna shrink it down. And uh, the dimensions are not gonna match exactly. Uh, if I were to go over here and uh, drag it down you can see that it's going to be a little bit a little bit longer than it needs to be but what we're going to do is just fake it and uh, right click on here click distort and just go ahead and kind of get it in those corners as best we can here uh, you can see the the shadow here from the inner part of the frame we're actually going to go over that uh, and that is the ma the main key thing that a lot of people miss they actually want to keep that shadow here and it looks a little off uh, but we're going to change that in just a second but we're going to go over that shadow and go to the top here do the same thing and go over here same thing make sure it's there there's a little bit of a bow a little bit of a, a warp in the frame it looks like so we might have to do a little bit of warping to this image to make sure it fits exactly let's go back up here yeah it's 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 a little bit warped right here at the top so we're gonna right click and choose warp right here and we're gonna take that one and just nudge it up a, just a tiny bit so it's matching that curve a little bit there uh, and that looks pretty good we'll go back out here and click enter and you can see that it's already in there it looks pretty good a lot of people will stop at this exact moment right here and they'll just say that it's done but the fact that we replaced a shadow it looks a little off because that shadow is a natural occurring thing and we can tell by the shadow over here on this side of the frame that shadow is obviously coming from the light source which is the window so there would inherently be a shadow right here where we replaced it so now we're going to double click on that photo layer and get our uh, layer styles dialog box and we're going to choose inner shadow right there and you can see it creates a little bit of an inner shadow here and we're going to actually make it a little bit bigger we're going to create the uh, take the opacity up to 100 take the size and start messing with the size a little bit if we want a more of a harsher shadow which we will uh, because there was a harsh shadow there where we replaced it with we're going to take the size down a little bit more uh, play with the distance here to make sure it's not too crazy and go right here now the one last thing we need to do which already is set pretty well is the angle of the shadow you don't want it to have a have a shadow be like that because it doesn't make sense that's not there's not two light sources here so we want to make sure the shadow is coming from this area here we're going to take the shadow back to where it was around 30 and you can see we have the preview here but it also we can preview it on our image right here and we have a very good looking shadow click OK and now we are done now it looks a way more realistic you can see we have this image here that that's what we had before the shadow doesn't look too realistic you apply that inner shadow right there and now it looks way better more realistic uh, and even we can do one more thing if this is an op obviously an optional step it looks a little bit too perfect uh, so what we can do is actually brighten this up so I'm gonna get a uh, blank layer I'm gonna get a brush make my brush a little bit large and for my hardness of my brush I'm gonna choose zero and for my flow I'm going to choose a very low number so probably around 8 10 somewhere around there and I'm gonna clip this blank layer to the picture layer so it's only affecting that picture layer and the way you do that is hover between the two layers here hold the alter option key on your keyboard you get a little uh, box with an arrow pointing down that's going to clip it so now anything we do is only going to affect the photo the, the replacement photo and now what I'm gonna do is make my brush very very large and just do a couple clicks here and that's gonna kind of lighten that area up so that way it looks like the Sun was kind of blowing out that part of the picture to right there uh, if we want to change the blending mode we can change overlay or soft light I'm gonna go with soft light and just keep clicking to probably around there so you can see it doesn't take a it doesn't add a whole lot but it makes it look a little bit more uh, realistic in whatever your environment is so uh, especially if you have a window or frame area here you want to make sure that it's uh, doing that 
because it definitely makes it look like it's more set in the environment. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tutorial. It's obviously a simple effect, but a lot of people will miss that inner shadow, which is that very key step uh, to make sure it looks more realistic. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleeklands, and I'll see you in the next one.